So you've decided to migrate your website away from GoDaddy, but you're not sure where to start. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to move your website so you can save money and have a better hosting experience. Before proceeding with the tutorial, it's important to understand that you cannot easily migrate websites built with the GoDaddy website builder. Unfortunately, since it's a closed source website builder, GoDaddy doesn't allow you to take your site with you. This is also true of other closed source website builders like Wix, Squarespace, and Shopify. So if you used the GoDaddy website builder, you'll have to build a new website on a different platform to leave GoDaddy. There are many platforms to choose from, but if you want to use WordPress, you can still check out the WordPress hosting from Porkbun that'll be showing you how to migrate to. With that being said, GoDaddy also offers WordPress hosting, so this tutorial is going to focus on migrating your WordPress site from GoDaddy hosting to Porkbun. If you're using the GoDaddy website builder, you're going to have to copy and paste most of the data to a new website builder, but if you're using WordPress, there's actually a brand new tool that just came out a couple weeks ago that helps with this. It's called CMS Freedom. It's an open source browser extension that can clone any website into a draft in WordPress. Then you can throw it up on any hosting, including the Porkbun hosting that I'm going to to show you in this video. I'll have CMS Freedom linked below if you want to check it out, and it's free and open source. But it is brand new, so it may be lacking some features and still have some bugs to be worked out. However, the rest of this video will focus on migrating an existing WordPress site from GoDaddy to Porkbun. In the first episode of this series, we covered transferring your domains away from GoDaddy. So if you haven't already transferred your domains, I would take care of that first before migrating your website. I'll have the domain transfer guide linked below. Below. Now, if you're wondering where exactly you'll be transferring your domains and website to, the answer is Porkbun, who was kind enough to sponsor this series. I want to show you how to leave GoDaddy and save a lot of money with Porkbun. Porkbun has been my favorite domain registrar for a few years, so when this collaboration idea came up, I knew Porkbun was the perfect partner. If you're tired of overpaying for your domains and hosting, Porkbun is a breath of fresh air. Everything you need, like Whois protection and SSL certificates, is included for free. Yes, that's right, Porkbun will not try to sell you $100 SSL certificates. With that being said, even if you choose a different web host, you can still follow the concepts in this video to migrate your WordPress site from GoDaddy to any web host. The first step to migrate your WordPress site is to export a copy at GoDaddy. To do this, sign into your WordPress dashboard and head over to Plugins and Add New Plugin. Let's search for All-in-One WP Migration, and we'll click Install Now and Activate. Now let's head over to the new All-in-One Migration tab in the sidebar and click Export, and we're gonna choose Export Site to File. While you wait for your site to export, if you're enjoying this tutorial, I would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button and click the bell. It's free and it'll make sure that you don't miss when I release new videos. When the export is complete, just click this giant download button and save it to a folder you'll remember. Next, you'll need to sign up for hosting at Porkbun. This works best if your domains are already at Porkbun, so if you haven't transferred them from GoDaddy yet, go ahead and check out my last video on transferring your domains. And be sure to use the promo code CMTransfer to save a dollar on your transfers. Now that your domains are transferred, we can move on to setting up the hosting. Sign into the Porkbun dashboard and click the house icon next to your desired domain. I'll use Cloud WordPress since we're migrating a WordPress site. Cloud WordPress has three plans to pick from, Starter, Pro, and Business. Starter has 10 gigabytes of disk space, Pro has 20 gigabytes, and Business has 40 gigabytes. They also have varying levels of PHP resources. Basic sites should work just fine on the starter plan, but higher traffic sites or e-commerce stores may need the pro or business plan. You can always scale up later, so don't worry too much about your plan choice at the beginning. I'm gonna choose the starter plan, so I'll just click Start Trial. Now, keep in mind that once you do this, Porkbun will automatically change your name servers to Porkbun Hosting. This means that you will no longer be able to access your GoDaddy hosted website via your domain, so you'll want to complete the migration as quickly as possible to minimize downtime. When the hosting is set up, you'll be redirected to this new page in the Porkbun dashboard. 
I'm just gonna try visiting my domain in a new tab, and this is a fresh WordPress installation, so I know that my domain is now pointing to the new pork bun hosting because I no longer see my old website hosted on GoDaddy. Since it can take time for browsers to catch up with name server changes, you may have to wait 15 minutes or so before you start seeing your new website, but most of the time, I find the changes take effect within one or two minutes. Once your new WordPress site loads, go ahead and visit the admin dashboard, and we can get the new admin credentials and the pork bun dashboard. Now, these temporary credentials are only displayed the first time this page loads. So our username is admin, and I'll just click this to copy the password, and click login, and we're in. Now, to get back to this screen in the pork bun dashboard at any time, you can do that by going to account, and domain management, and then next to the desired domain, you can just click this WordPress icon. Now, as you'll see here, the temporary credentials are no longer present, and it's a good idea to change your admin password anyway, so to do that, or if you ever get locked out of your website, you can just scroll down and click change password and enter a new password here. All right, I'm back in the new WordPress dashboard. Let's go ahead and finish this migration. Let's go over to plugins and add new plugin, and we're gonna search for the same all-in-one WP migration plugin, and we'll install and activate it. We're gonna go over to all-in-one migration, but this time we're gonna click import, and I'll click import from file, and I'll select the file that I downloaded earlier. This may take a few minutes, but if you're having any trouble with the migration process, you can reach out to Porkbun's support team using the help widget in the bottom right corner of the Porkbun dashboard. In most cases, the upload should work just fine, but sometimes you might need to increase the file size limit within WordPress if it's an especially large migration file, and the Porkbun support team can help you with that. The file finished uploading, so now I'm going to click proceed, and this is going to replace the website files with the old ones from GoDaddy. Now we have a message that the site has been imported successfully, so I'll click finish. And now let's try visiting the main domain and see if our website loads. Oh, look at that. It looks just the same as my old website. Now, I believe I can still log in with the old credentials, but let's just test that theory. Now, the import overrides all existing WordPress users, meaning the username and password that you use to log into WP Admin at GoDaddy is now what you'll use at Porkbun. You can change it if you want after you log in, but the whole admin username and temporary password that you just used, that's not going to work anymore. So just use the old credentials that you were used to at GoDaddy, and you should be able to get in fine. If not, you can always go to the Porkbun dashboard and click change password, and that will also help you know which usernames are active on your site. So I no longer see an admin user, but this WP username 5577 is what my username used to be at GoDaddy. So if nothing else, I can just reset my password here. Then I use that username and the new password I set to get into the admin dashboard. Now, hopefully everything went smoothly and you can skip to the next section on canceling your GoDaddy hosting. But if you're facing a catastrophic error with the import and bricked WordPress, you can try again by reaching out to support at porkbun.com and asking them to reset your hosting. This will allow you to try the import process again. And if for some reason you need to access your old site on GoDaddy, after your domain is pointing to the Porkbun hosting, you can access it on a temporary subdomain. To do this, head to the GoDaddy dashboard and click Manage next to your WordPress hosting. Then click Manage Hosting, and let's go over to the Settings tab. Let's scroll down to Domains, and you'll see there's this temporary subdomain listed here. Let's click the three dots and click Make Primary Domain. Now, sometimes it was glitching and not showing this animation, indicating that it actually registered the click. So if it acts kind of weird for you, try refreshing the page because it did this a bunch of times for me. But of course, now when I'm filming it, it works perfectly. So, all right, it says Primary Domain. So I should be able to copy this and visit it. And now you're able to access your WordPress site through your GoDaddy hosting on this temporary domain. So now you're able to visit the old copy of your website on GoDaddy, and this will allow you to try exporting it again if needed, or simply verify that the old site and the new site match. If you're hosting your WordPress site using GoDaddy cPanel hosting, the process to change the URL varies, but their customer support may be able to help you change it to a temporary subdomain. Once you've completed your migration, don't forget to cancel 
Obviously you're hosting at GoDaddy. They make this a bit tricky, but here's how you do it as of the recording of this video. Head to your GoDaddy dashboard and go to your name in the top right corner and click renewals and billing and then locate your hosting. So for me, that is managed WordPress basic. I'll click the three dots and say, turn off auto renew. And I wanna cancel renewal. And then that way, when it comes up for renewal, my card will not automatically be charged and the hosting will be discontinued after that. And that's it. You've officially migrated your website and domains away from GoDaddy. You're well on your way to leaving GoDaddy behind. If you have email hosting you also need to transfer, you can check out that tutorial here.